So hello, this is Ford Brewer with Heart Attack, Stroke, and Cancer Prevention. Why rely on a cure when you can prevent it all together? <clears throat> uh, I'd love to hear your comments after the video today, so please go down to the comment section and give me your thoughts. If you like it, uh, share and uh, subscribe. Today we're talking about the Forever Pill, uh, anti-aging pill. Really? Uh, again, this is from Bloomberg Business Week, and it's made several other headlines as well. And you see the lady here is celebrating her 173rd uh, birthday. The pill is metformin. We, this is a series on metformin, and uh, we've covered other type, uh, other impacts and topics related to metformin. And, including prevention of Alzheimer's, uh, prevention of diabetes, or management of diabetes, uh, prevention of um, cancer, believe it or not. And so now we're talking about prevention of aging. Really? So, <clears throat> uh, actually, yes, really. Uh, the FDA approved clinical research back in 2015 for metformin, specifically for anti-aging. Um, let's talk about anti-aging for just a second. We've had several other comments about it. There's long been research around just plain old caloric restriction in terms of anti-aging. Um, that's been an ongoing topic. Uh, I haven't covered that yet in any videos, but will soon. Um, there's also some anti-aging uh, topics covered with a researcher named Walter Longo, an aging researcher in LA uh, with UCLA. V-A-L-T-E-R-L-O-N-G-O. And he's talking about intermittent fasting and the impact of uh, improved stem cell function after uh, episodes of intermittent fasting. This is a different issue. Uh, it may not be totally different in terms of mechanism, in terms of the caloric restriction issue, but it does appear to be different from um, intermittent fasting. Anyhow, what, what's the connection here? Well, let's go to the clinicaltrials.gov homepage and read what they say. Basically, they're looking at cellular processes associated with the development of age-related conditions, such as, and no surprise, inflammation, oxidative damage, diminished autophagy or uh, cleanup of trash among the cells, cell aging. Um, as such, metformin is, is of particular interest in clinical translational research in aging since it may influence fundamental aging factors that underlying multiple age-related conditions. The investigators therefore propose a pilot study to examine the effect of metformin on aging. Now, <clears throat> so uh, for those of us who are a little bit more science-minded, what's the connection again? We've covered it in multiple videos, especially in this series on metformin. It's glucose metabolism. Uh, if you look here... Metformin impacts AMPK, mTOR, um, multiple methods for glucose to get into the cell, whether you're talking about uh, liver cells or muscle cells or brain cells. Um, also, storage and release of glucose. Remember, in terms of the cancer uh, prevention activity, we talked about the... Um, Warburg effect, where cancer cells have a very um, primitive form of glucose metabolism, resulting, like yeast cells, in more of a, a uh, alcohol formation. <clears throat> Metformin impacts glucose metabolism, energy metabolism. That's how it prevents uh, some cancers. It improves and provides a more youthful metabolism. Uh, that's how it in, ends up impacting uh, uh, diabetes and the association of diabetes um, 
heart attack, stroke, um, dementia. So uh, now, so then you have to start asking the question. Well, if the there's a research, if there's a study, and it's going on regarding metformin and anti-aging, what will be the research outcomes? Obviously, these people are still going to be getting old, but the question is, what components, what outcomes, what indicators will they have of aging? So let's read that. Um, they're, they hypothesized that metformin res, will result in changes in the transcriptome. Again, the different enzymes that are associated with expression of profile of older adults, all related to IGT, impaired glucose tolerance. So they'll be looking uh, to test this by identifying changes in gene expression in muscle and fat tissue with RNA sequencing. They'll study the expression uh, of these genes in target, uh, target genes. Mitochondrial number, you remember the mitochondria are the powerhouses of the cell. Whether you're talking about the cell in a muscle, a liver, a brain, uh, or other tissues. So they're gonna be looking at these to see what sort of genes have been expressed, have been transcribed, transcriptome, and are being expressed in these uh, cells. So, yes, there may actually be something to metformin and anti-aging. Now, just to go back and, and refresh on metformin, it was discovered in 1922. It was used uh, as early as 55 in France and 65 in uh, England, or 57 in England, uh, for diabetes. Uh, the Americans were very nervous about bringing it over. We didn't start using it for diabetes until 1995, and um, it is now the number one drug used for uh, oral treatment of diabetes, or oral drug. Um, just look at the American College of um, Endocrinologists or the American Diabetes Association. That is the drug. Again, it's because diabetes, especially type 2 diabetes, has to do with glucose control. Well, type 1 diabetes does as well, but maybe different mechanisms. Um, well, how is, from a biochemical perspective, how is uh, metformin metabolized? It's not metabolized. It's just... Uh, excreted, uh, uh, I think, by the urine. What are the, what's the half-life of um, metformin? In other words, half of it will be gone in four hours. And then in another four hours, another half will be gone. What are the side effects of, isn't metformin dangerous? Well, we used to think it caused, it could cause a serious problem called lactic acidosis. Um, Meta-analysis from the Cochrane group indicates that's probably, that's not the case. Uh, you do have significant, and maybe up to half of people do have um, some side effects. They're mostly related around uh, gastric and intestinal irritation. Um, so you get gas and diarrhea for the first few weeks that you're using it. Maybe a not too uh, high a price to pay for anti-aging.